Hallelujah, hallelujah, praise. Master Jesus, hallelujah. God put this on your screen to remind you that your story is not forgotten. Hallelujah. The Lord put this prophetic word on your screen to remind you about your story. You might be coming across this particular YouTube channel. God made it possible for you to come across this channel to remind you of your story. You might be watching me and you are standing the gap also to share this particular prophetic word to somebody. May God bless you. If you're coming across this prophetic word by sharing or you just come across it by accident, God made it possible for you to come across this prophetic word to remind you of your story in the mighty name of Jesus. If you are seeing my face for your very first time, I welcome you in the name of Jesus. This is a channel of which we help people build a consistent prayer lifestyle. We help people, hallelujah, live a life of prayers. Hallelujah. A man without a life of prayer is a scammer. It does not matter your, your power or your rank or your position or your name in the body of Christ if there is no track record of a consistent prayer lifestyle. That means there is something somewhere. The only way we can ascend is through this faith commit by hearing and by hearing by the word of God. This is prophetic blessings with Pastor Basil. Hallelujah. By God's grace, I am available every day bringing us fresh updates from the Lord every day. Please subscribe so to become part of this lovely family. Whenever I'm live, you join me, let us fire up in Jesus' mighty name. So, you see this particular prophetic word today on your screen. God just wants to remind you. The Lord gave me this particular prophetic word. The Holy Spirit took me in the Bible. I saw a lot of people crying. Like when the Lord gave me this word, I was praying. I saw a group of people crying like i saw a group of people crying and their tears were like they are waiting for something i saw them at the place of waiting they are waiting to receive something and at a particular moment i just heard the sound then everybody opened their eyes as they opened their eyes they saw angels like they saw angels bringing gifts a lot of gifts and I saw people were collecting, receiving their gifts. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. So the Lord says, this particular video or prophetic word on your screen is to remind you of something. You might be watching me now and you're saying, Pastor, my life is in deep mess. Pastor, I am passing through hell. Pastor, I am in pains. Pastor, my marriage is about to collapse. Pastor, the doctor has given me the report that I am positive. Pastor, there is nothing good that can come out for me. Pastor, a lot of us are crying one problem or the other. Please, trust me, I'm a good pilot. We are going to learn. Trust me on this. In the name of Jesus. Hebrews 11 verse 6 says, For without faith, it is impossible to please God. For whosoever that will come to him must believe that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. So if you come to God by faith, you must believe. I want you to believe that you're hearing a man of God speaking to you. It might be rubbish to some people, but at the end of the rubbish, you, you hear a word that will increase something new in your life. I believe so. No word that belongs to the Lord will go, go out without accomplish. A purpose of which is being sent forth in the mighty name of Jesus. At the place of prayers, as I was explaining, when the Lord showed me this, the Bible took me in the book of Exodus, I think chapter 18, we read from verse 1 to 10. Exodus 18, we read from verse 1 to 10, is talking about Abraham was sitting under the tree in the afternoon in the cold day. He was thinking about his life. Abraham looked how he was already he was already old. The wife was old. The wife has already entered monopause. Even Abraham as a man, there was no more strain again in him. Like he was thinking a lot. Praise Master Jesus. 
that this is the promises of God upon my life. Look at me now, look at my wife. At this point of time, what am I going to do? What are we going to do? There are people also watching me right now. You're confused. Hallelujah. You're worried. There are a lot of problems at your table right now. You're telling me, Pastor Bazir, you don't know. Listen, my landlord is waiting for me. I don't even have food to eat. Yes, the Lord put this prophetic word on your screen to remind you of your story. The Bible says, God is not a man to lie, neither the son of man to repent. Therefore, if you have already concluded on your situation, or people ha has helped you conclude over your destiny, I have come to tell them that they lie. The Bible says, Who is that man that speaketh for the word, or make a decree upon your life, and it come to pass when your God has not spoken? So therefore, there is a God that has the final says. And if that God has not spoken, the, vo the voice or the words of any man is in vain in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord says, he is putting this prophetic word on your screen to remind you that I have not forgotten you. The Lord is reminding you, reminding somebody that he has not forgotten you. The Bible says in the book of Isaiah that I have written your names in the palms of my hands. Hallelujah. Whoever touches you touches me. You are the apples of my eyes. He who watches over Israel neither sleep nor slumber. He knows that you are passing through the rent matter. He knows that there is no job. He knows that your husband is insulting every day. He knows that you are living in mockery and shame. He knows everything. He knows. He knows. He knows. Praise Master Jesus. He knows. I've come to speak to somebody watching and connecting in the name of Jesus. That you coming across this prophetic word was not by accident. After a long time of promises, the agenda and the plan of God in the life of Abraham was still intact. Abraham saw three men in the cool day of the afternoon. Abraham gave them a cup of water. The wife made them something to eat. Child of God, wherever, wherever you're watching me, I don't take the grudge, the pain, the anger. Put it on people that are around you. The people you're seeing or the person standing in front of you might be that messenger. God remember Abraham. Even at that point of which all hope was lost, God still came true for Abraham. After the angel has eaten and took the water, they told Abraham, according to the time and season, we are coming by this time next year. Child of God, you are coming across this channel, this prophetic word. The Lord says, he wants to remind you of your story. God knows where you are coming from. He knows where you are going, you, you are going to. He has not forgotten you. All his plan upon your life, they are coming to pass. It does not matter how long it takes. It does not matter how long it's been delayed. For in Jesus' mighty name, I pray for someone watching and connecting under the sound of my voice. For in Jesus' mighty name, let the plan of God upon your life come to pass. For in Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen.